Today's incident will wake up your soul. Please watch the incident till the end. Mother's bad words made a son an example of example. Today we are going to present one such incident in front of you, dear friends. True love from parents. The one who does this will watch the incident till the end because this incident is full of lessons and lessons. Be surprised that today again you heard a knock on the door of your son. She was waiting. It was late again today and he had not yet come home. Poor elder mother kept looking towards the door again and again, opening it. She used to look into the street, but when she did not see her son, she would hold her heart and the words would come out of her mouth helplessly. Oh God, where is my son? This boy's father had passed away and there was no one else in the house except an elderly mother and a young boy. But the son was also making friends with the wrong people and bad people had put him on the wrong path. The boy used to stay out of the house till late at night. His elder mother used to explain to him a lot that the son should stay out early at night. Come home, I am alone at home and I feel scared. Anyway, the situation is not good. And along with that, I also thought about you. She lives and has her problems, so my son don't delay. But that son was not his mother's son. That son was his mother's son. I used to listen to things from one ear and put them out through the other ear. If there was someone else in my mother's place, I used to pretend to be a man and put them out of the other ear. If there was someone else in my mother's place, I used to say that there was no problem but he. So there was the mother, and how could the mother live without her heart? How could she eat food without her son and could not even sleep before her son? Similarly, the second day also passed. Today again, the same thing happened. Almost the whole night had passed. Now the morning was about to break. Suddenly at the door, today again the same thing happened. Almost the whole night had passed. Now the morning was about to break. Suddenly, at the door. There was a knock and mother ran away. She ran to the door, opened the door and saw her son standing in front. The mother thanked God that it was late. So it's okay, let's go son. When I returned home safely, my son said, Mummy, I am very hungry, I am hungry, I am hungry, I am going to die of hunger. The son started saying, Mother, I am very hungry, please bring me some bread quickly. I am hungry, I am dying of hunger, please bring me some bread. As soon as the son came inside, he started screaming and shouting. And the mother started saying that, Ok, son, waits for some time, I will make hot roti for you and bring it. Then mother said, Son, I too have not eaten anything till now, I was also just waiting for you. Mother asked the son, Tell me, why are you late today and where had you gone? I am tired of explaining it to you every day. I was getting very worried, I had gone mad. My son told me, Hey, I had gone to the cinema to watch a movie with my friends. It got late while watching the movie. After that, I went out for a walk with my friends. Mother said, Son, what kind of people have you made friends with? It was getting late after that, you went out for a walk with your friends. Son, how come you have made friends with people who have put you on the wrong path? Son, how many times have you been taken away by the police? And now I too am no longer able to show my face to people. The people in the locality also tell me that, look, this is the mother of Naeem, a scoundrel. Son, please think that your father was not like this and your mother is also not like this. They were very polite people. So why do you get up and sit among such people? Why do you have friends with such people? Mother was telling the truth, but the son, by watching last century movies and hanging out with the wrong people, his mind had gone haywire. His mother's loving words were feeling poisonous and bitter to him. He just wanted her not to say anything to him and to remain silent. After feeding him, he started telling his mother to stop following her instructions, not to talk too much and to do what he said quickly. Don't give me food, he said. Otherwise, when the mother heard this from her son, she started trembling. She had never thought that her son would answer her like this. The mother also got sad and angry and said to the son, Otherwise, what will you do to your mother who raised you and nurtured you? Son, you are ashamed. I don't come. I don't give you anything. Today I am hungry. So if I had come home on time, I would have got bread. On top of that, I am misbehaving with my mother like this. 
She doesn't give him bread today. He is hungry. If he had come home on time, he would have got bread. On top of that, he is making fun of his mother like this. She doesn't give him bread, even after going so that he also knows what a mother is. The answer should be given in different ways. What the mother had just said was that the son got angry with her. This disobedient son took the shoe in his hand and ran to hit the mother, and the poor mother ran away from the house to escape. But the house was small, and there was a lot of darkness in the street. Finally the son reached his mother, and he ran to kill the poor mother to save herself. She ran away from home, but the house was small, and the street was very dark. The son reached the block and started hitting his mother with his shoes. God has done it. The mother beat her hands and feet a lot, but could not save herself from her stone-hearted son. The son's shoes were hitting the mother's face, but with all her heart, she could not save herself. At that very moment, this curse came out of the mother's mouth for her son. Oh Allah, you gave me a child because today I am eating shoes from his hands. Oh Allah, please give me death. I am not capable of living. Oh Allah, the fate that was supposed to happen to me today at the hands of this child has already happened to me. Oh my God, the son who insulted his mother, please let this dog dishonor his mother in this world and in the hereafter. Hearing these words, the unfortunate son became even more angry and started hitting his mother even more. He left his mother there and went to sleep himself. After some time he had gone to sleep, and after some time he felt pain in his legs. He thought that he had gone to sleep normally. After some time he had fallen asleep, and after some time he felt pain in his legs. He thought that it was a minor pain and that it would go away soon. But the pain kept increasing, and when the morning came, the pain became evident. He had said that he could not tolerate it anymore, and his foot had also become numb. He left the house and walked with great difficulty to the doctor. After examining his foot, the doctor said that he could not understand anything. What is the reason for the pain and why is the leg swollen? So he went to a big hospital for a further checkup. Now that unfortunate boy went to the big hospitals of Loha, but no doctor could understand his illness. Was. He went, but still, no doctor could understand his disease. Then he went to Multan's famous 606 Nishtar Hospital, and the doctor there also told him. He was not able to understand what kind of disease had engulfed him in a single night. Now his condition was getting worse, and his feet were thinking more and more pain day by day. The doctors advised that his leg was getting worse day by day. The doctors advised that his leg was getting worse day by day. Now his leg should be amputated. His leg should be amputated a little. It was taken, but still Aram did not come. Then a little more was bitten, but still Aram did not come. So much so that his entire leg was amputated. Now the unfortunate boy had become lame, but his leg was still not healed. A wound had formed at the place where this boy's leg was cut, and in this wound, pus had formed and the wound could not be cured by any medicine. On the other hand, the treatment of the unfortunate boy was still going on, and on the other hand, his unhappy mother had died. The poor, poor mother survived only a week after being beaten by her young son. But during these seven days, this evil mother survived only for a week after being beaten by her young son. But during these seven days, she, the elder mother, did not eat anything. She just kept crying and used to say that she thought that her son would grow up and serve. But I did not like this. Even in my old age, I'm eating shoes from her hands. I don't need my son. This is what she used to say. The condition of the son after the mother's death. She was very upset that when she got married, she left his wife. When she had children, they too would not go near her. She was tortured by this cruel person. But this too was taken over by his sons. There was a shop, that too was taken away. In this way, everything was taken away from him, even when he had no food. There was nothing left to drink and no money left for treatment, so that ill-treated man begged. Everything was taken away from him until he had nothing left to eat and drink, and no money left for treatment. So that unfortunate man was forced to beg, and he started begging by batting on the road. 
People would not even go near him to give him alms, just like they throw bones to a dog to eat, in the same way to make it eat. Food was thrown at him from a distance. People would see him and say that he is such a cursed and unfortunate person. Food would be thrown to him from a distance to eat like this. People would see him. They say that this is the same cursed and ill-fated man who had hit his elder mother with shoes. He kept begging on the same road. His wound was hurting. He kept on bleeding and flies were sitting on his wound all the time and he was in severe pain. In trouble, he remained in the same condition all the time. He spent four years on the same road and kept begging. And the place where this incident happened was called Chichawatani. One day, Chicha a great man came to the country whose name was Malana Abdul Shakur, Deen Puri Ramat Allah Alahi. Malana Abdul Shakur Deen Puri Ramat Allah Alahi was very good and he used to give great speeches. When he came to Chichu country, he also gave a speech there. After giving the speech, Molana Sahib along with some people. While going back, they met a man on the way. That man was sitting on a stool and bees were flying everywhere on him. His face was also pale and his teeth were clenched. He seemed to be very worried. When Maulana Sahib was near him, his face was also pale. He was lying down and his teeth were clenched. He seemed to be very worried. When Maulana Sahib passed by him, he said in a painful voice, Maulana Sahib, come here, look at me with pride. I was a lion, this shop, this house, this everything was mine, but now I have become a beggar, I beg. Then he narrated his entire incident to Maulana Sahib how I hit my elder mother with shoes and my mother scolded me in the same condition. After narrating this whole incident to Molana Sahib, he screamed and fell on the ground. Then he got up and said, Molana Sahib, this is the gold of this world, so I don't know what will happen to me in the hereafter. Saying this, he again fell on the ground, after which this unfortunate man closed his eyes, didn't open it and just kept saying, Molana Sahib, Please, please, my God, if my mother is displeased, Allah also gets displeased, Molana. Sir, I have been living in disgrace and my life has also been ruined. He kept saying to Molana Sahib that Molana Sahib does something for me. But what could Molana do? Molana Sahib sought refuge in Allah and moved ahead. That boy jumped like this and died as a sign of punishment for the people. They were eating it because it smelled so dirty and dirty that people were hesitant to even go near it, but they still did it. People completed his burial and buried him in a grave like a pit like that of a widow. So dear friends, judge for yourself here. Apply and get the lesson that how the punishment of Allah Almighty is sent down on the one who disobeys his parents. Hazrat Ali says that the person who looked at his parents even once with a sharp eye or thought that on the day of judgment, all his good deeds will be destroyed, all his good deeds will be destroyed. No matter how much worship he has done in his life, no matter how many good deeds he has earned, if he has looked carefully at his parents, if you see this, then all his good deeds will be destroyed. We know that God willing, everyone loves their parents very much. Daughters are not the ones who stare at their parents, but perhaps this message will reach the ears of a person who does not respect his parents. I don't feel the love of my parents. Perhaps this message will reach the ears of those who have looked at their parents with sharp eyes or have gazed at them. Then Allah, the Holy Prophet, will put an end to his good deeds at that very moment. My master Mustafi, peace be upon him, says that if the servant is engaged in worship and his parents are angry with him, so all his worship is his and some of his worship is his. No prayer is accepted. How many are those who stop reciting the Holy Quran? How many are those who perform tahajd? How many are those who do zan? As soon as they hear this, they run towards the mosque and before leaving the house, do they even think that their parents are angry with them? If their father is pleased with them and they come out of the house after seeing this, then their prayers and prayers are accepted. If their parents are unhappy with them, then they have no, even worship will not be accepted, and any prayer will also not be accepted. While describing the respect of parents, 
The companions say that if the parents walk behind and their son walks ahead, then the son should not follow the shepherd. But if it is night time, there is some danger on the way, there are thorns or there are some problems, then in such a situation the son can walk ahead so that the parents don't face any trouble. He should first see the trouble that is going to come in his path. In this situation, only the son can walk ahead of the parents. Otherwise, those who walk ahead of the parents will have their name written among those who disobey their parents. It is said that those who follow their parents, this practice is also prevalent in Islam. It is believed that when they were not allowed to follow their parents, today's youth express their opinions in front of their parents in every matter. Why do we ignore their words? Why do we not pay attention to their words? Even Ibn Abbas says that if Nafil is for Hajj, and the mother forbids it, it is not permissible for the child to perform Nafil Hajj. Parents have the right to stop their children from performing Nafil Hajj. Islam is not just a religion of praise and writing. Islam is not a religion of only prostrations. Those who do prostrations should worship once. The Prophet said to the Sahaba of Akram that if his mother had been alive at that time, in her visible life, she would have called him, and he would have been teaching namaz. Saying this, tears welled up in the eyes of the Prophet. Those whose parents are in this world do not realize how great blessings they have been blessed with. They are living their lives without realizing what they have. Someone has said that after the end of the blessings, what is the value of this to man? Later one realizes that the crowned prophet says to his beloved that the one who has looked at his mother with love once, the one who has loved his mother, he who looked at his mother's face with loving eyes once, has earned the reward of an accepted hajj. He who looked at his mother with loving eyes has earned the reward of an accepted hajj. Those who want to scold him, just consider that the holy prophet, peace be upon him, says, I wish my mother was alive at this time and I would have blessed you. I would be praying and my mother would call me, O oh Muhammad, come here, what would I do? The companions would say, O oh my master upon you, what do you do by sacrificing your parents? The government says, I would have left the prayers and would have been present at the funeral of my mother, saying prayers to the beloved community of Allah. This makes one realize the importance of a mother and says that only a person whose heart has been hardened by Allah can take care of his parents and only he can love his parents. He who has a hardened heart cannot do this. Otherwise, he who has a soft heart can never disobey his parents. This also comes within the rights of the parents. It is not even allowed to talk to parents directly, but there are etiquettes to talk to parents. The Islamic way is that when someone talks to one's parents, if you want to consult or talk about something, first get their permission. If he gives permission, then talk to him in the manner in which a slave talks to his master. He talks to them in such a way that the way a slave treats his master, and this is our Sharia and Islam, just imagine what the viewer did. This is how we treat our parents. Is this how we talk to our parents? With great apologies, but we do not spend our money. Who knows where we spend it? And when it comes to spending on our parents, perhaps we become silent and wonder where the money comes from. How much will come? Why should we give? Why should we give? These things enter our mind and we spend so much money on friends. And in some places, God bless you. It says that whoever spends money on his parents, Allah rewards him neither in building a mosque nor in giving donations. It is not given in giving zakat nor in doing any other good. The reward he gets for spending on his parents is not the reward he gets for doing any other good. If you spend on your parents, you will get more than that. May Allah bless you more in your earning. People do not give importance to their parents, but if you are collecting money from somewhere, then there are 5,000 and 10,000. They even give up to one lakh. Although when they leave their house, their mother asks them for money, saying, Son, I have to go to the doctor. If you want to go near me, give me some money. Then the son replies, You are old. How much money will you spend? Why should I spend all the money on you now, so what? Donations will be accepted from this person whose mother is distressed at home and is asking for money from him, and he is going out and giving donations worth lakhs of rupees. 
If he is giving, then will Allah Almighty accept it? Certainly not. The person who spent happily on his parents spent happily and spent on his parents. If all his rights are fulfilled, then Allah Almighty will bring peace in his life and bless his business. I just want to say one thing. Never take blessings from your parents in life. Never show your affection to your parents. Always pray to them. Never make them cry. Because the person who made his father cry and showed his father's heart is deprived of all the blessings of Allah Almighty, even if he is of the universe. Even if he acquires all the things of this world, he may acquire wealth, but he never attains peace and happiness in his life. It is possible that if you want to be happy and want peace in your life, then keep your parents happy, love them and obey them, inshallah. Both your life and hereafter will go to heaven and you will get the reward of this blessing in the form of your children. The way you behave with your parents will come in the same way your children will also come with you tomorrow. In the end, I pray to Allah Almighty that Allah Almighty make us all parents, including me. Make them shepherds, allow them to honor them and serve them. Amen, or Lord of the Worlds, dear friends, with the intention of goodness and reward. Do share the video with other people also, who knows? This will touch someone's heart, and we will be rewarded for it. Today's video is for you people. Please do express your valuable opinion in the comment box. If you're new to our channel, then please subscribe to our channel Katie Islamic Voice. For more similar stories, select the bill notification on all, so that you can get the updates of our latest video like and share the video. Forget it. See you with some other good topics and with some other good videos till then. Allah bless you.